My name's Angus McFadgen. I'm a silversmith and engraver. I've been doing it since 1984. Engraving is one of these things that when it becomes known you engrave, then you get asked to do jobs like this, make a sundial replica. Engraving is basically drawing on metal. So the first thing you have to do is to draw on the metal. And the simplest thing to use is a pencil. But then once you've drawn on the metal, you need to mark it in more permanently before you start engraving. So we use a scribe to do that. And that scratches the metal, if you like, scratches the surface of the metal sufficiently that you have a permanent line that you can then follow with the graver. And the graver is cutting metal, so you're removing metal, which leaves you a, a line of all sorts of depths or, or widths according to the job. Very versatile process. Brass is a material that's used a lot for, well, particularly for this type of thing, you know, instruments in the, in the past. And this brass for this sundial actually, although it is machining brass, which is quite a high lead content in the alloy, it's actually quite hard to cut. Engraving is extremely time consuming. There, there are no shortcuts, there's nowhere to hide, there's no cheating. You've got to do it as nicely as you possibly can. It can be tiring when you're on a big job and it's just day in, day out, cutting away. But at the same time, I love it. And I think if you didn't enjoy doing it, it would just be a chore and it would, you wouldn't do terribly good work, I don't think, either. Even now, when you do a nice cut that you're really pleased with, um, it's quite exciting still. It was really fascinating to look closely at the original sundial, actually. There are marks at the beginnings or ends of some of the cuts, which most people wouldn't even notice. And they're not mistakes, they're not errors, but they're marks which probably only an engraver will notice. There's this instant connect with the person that did it, and that's lovely. You know, to, to go back that many years and just have that instant connection with the person who did it. You say, oh yeah, I know what was going on there, I know what you did there. That personal touch is something which you only get when somebody's sat down and done it themselves, yeah.